and making a little <laughs> pocket change. Semi-final number two here in the winner's bracket. The winner of this one will face Sirius Mo. In the winner bracket final, we kick it off once again here at Pizza Hut Stadium. And it'll be Young Kim taken out of his own end zone past the 20. And he gets clapped at the 27. All right, we, we got to see where the chat's head's at on this one. Scott, where are you guys thinking, chat? Let's go one for Kiva, two for the young phenom, Henry. Where are you guys' heads at? Set their audibles. Get ready to go. I talked about it before. It's going to be the passing attack of young Kiv and the running game of Henry. They've played hundreds of matches already in this young season, preparing for this tournament, and now they face each other. Scott, I'll tell you what. I'm peeking at this chat right now. A lot of twos for Henry. It seems like a lot of people are buying into the young phenom. Well, he's the one playing the meta. And... Amazing. And, and Kiv's never going to stop throwing out of the bunch. But as Skimbo will tell you, that ain't it, Chief. Quick throw and a diving grab. Out at the 43. Back-to-back -back completions for Deshaun Watson. Yeah, and this is young kid. But he might be the last passer left in this tournament. We've seen a lot of run-first type players, but he's going to stay in this gun bunch. And he's going to air it out. Picks up the blitz again. You can't give him time. B coming across oh, he it. He him. wants Will Fuller all the way down to the three-yard line. How about Kiv right there? Rolls out. Looks like he has a free first down if he just wants to go with the scramble with your guy from Clemson, Deshaun Watson. Instead, he airs it out for a complete dot. Now he's right there on the three-yard line, knocking on the end zone door. Here comes the eye formation, eye tight. Lamar Miller will dot the eye. Watson. Directed traffic, and he'll go to the air. Quick throw to the outside, and Nukes all alone. Kill strikes first. I, I feel like that play, it goes to the familiarity of these two players. Kim feeling Henry's going to run commit in this situation. He knows I run in that situation. Kim goes to the pass, checks to Hopkins on the fade. He's butt naked in the end zone. Strong opening drive from the veteran. And Madden ninth, Madden 18 champion, Young Kiva. Tavon will take it out to the 20. Got to look at this touchdown. Well, not touchdown pass, but the long bomb to the three-yard line. Look, he had B coming right across the formation and decides to go up top on the run. Yeah, everything was pretty about that, Scott. The blitz pickup, the rollout, sets the feet, lets it rip to the right read. That's professional pass, Madden passing right there from Young Kiv. How's Henry respond? I just saw Young Kiv's birthday. That made me sad. I don't... I don't <laughs> Like an old man, I don't even want to look and see what Henry's birthday is. <laughs> Two young players still coming to the point. I ask the chat this all the time. When are you no longer young Kiv? When are you just Kiv? Especially when you're playing 16-year-olds now. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird area right there, Scott. I, I mean, young nephew, he, he, <laughs> he just turned to old nephew. and It's like a decade later. I think he could still rock the young for a little bit. I think, what, 20, 24. 24 is the cutoff? Absolute cutoff, right? Fourth and 13. It's a three and out wow. for Henry. And Jones will pull out the boot. And that'll be well out of bounds. That'll be marked to the 37. Not a great punt. And breaking news when it feels like breaking, Scott, with Young Kim's run in this Madden Classic, making it as far as he did and Skimbo getting knocked out where he did. Young Kim is now considered to have 11 EA major appearances, making him first all time on the EA major appearances list. He just passed Michael Skimbo. He is now number one in that statistic category, and that's a big stat category to lead. It just shows his consistency and how dominant he's been. 
Someone said in chat, as long as he's got that good head of leg lettuce, he can be young Kiv as long as he wants. <laughs> That's a good point, too. Take, take, take. Trust me, it's the days aren't coming. Enjoy the lettuce while you got it, <laughs> youngsters. We know. The day is a coming. Kev just moving the ball so prolifically. The, the way he passes sometimes, Scott, and mixes up his route, it, it's almost like he sees the play art of the defense. He just knows what's going to be open. It's just so impressive. A little check down to the 31. He's perfect so far. Six of six with a shot. That's going to bring up a second and eight. Might be the final play of the quarter as he hands it off to Duke Johnson. Oh, gets the oh, first down and more, oh, and he will take it to the crib. Look at the emotion from the Kiva. He knows that's huge to open up the game with a scoring drive, get yourself a stop, and not even go and get three. Go and get another seven to put yourself up two scores against young Henry. Let's see how he deals with this type of pressure. He's never been in a situation like this before. We've talked about these teams with this running game getting down to scores. I know it's early. It's scary, especially when Duke Johnson is ripping it off like this for young Kiv. Let's go! Come on! Look at that. Come on! Kiv is going to fight. No control or disconnect on that one. RB wide open. What a ooh. Cobb to the 43. And that's how the second quarter will begin. 14 to nothing. That was a big possession catch right there by Henry because he saw how fast Kiv clicked onto that safety and tried to lay the boom on Tavon Austin. Had Henry not possession caught that, that that's going to be a drop pass due to the hip stick. Henry from Chicago, Illinois. In Texas, you can drive at 16. The youngster has yet to put one together. <laughs> the troll train. He, he's on Leonard's, you know, learner's permit status right now. What a Good time. throw there to Cobb. Just outside the red zone now at the 24. What a dot as he gets into the red zone, but that was what was big about Kiv getting two touchdowns. Because if you're Henry right now, you feel where you're almost in a situation where three points might not be no good. You, you really want to get into six. Good pocket presence. Wow. Slides down with Dak. That, that's what you got to pay attention to if you're a casual player at home, is how good some of these guys' pocket presence are. You know me and you, Scott, and any other Johnny Walmart, we're dropping back 10, 15 yards, not stepping up in that pocket, putting ourselves in harm's way. These guys, they just have so much poise. Look at that step up right there by Henry. He gets down, protects the quarterback. It's just impressive stuff. It's way easier said than done. And it's a big reason why these guys are as elite as they are. It's those little things like the pocket presence and Henry putting it on full display there as he runs it in. Sink! Shakes the man off. And finally, Henry will get on the board. How about Henry right there, Scott? You go down 14-0 against one of the top players of the MCS era, if not the top player. And then you come back and you put that drive together and make it a ball game. And now the Kiva has to respond. Yeah, you need Boom. to stop. If you're Henry, 2.47 to go here in the half. Worth noting, Kiv started the game with the ball. So Henry will take it on the other side of the half. Big momentum drive right here. Deshaun will take off and slide down. At the 25-yard line. That was so. That was such an impressive drive by Henry Scott. I mean, he's a youngin, but that was a big boy drive if I ever seen one in a real pressure situation up there on that main stage, with a lot of money, a lot of glory on the line, and now he's teeing up. Quarterback meet taste sweet. And Chris Westry, the youngster from Kentucky, will get to the quarterback and make it a. Third and 12. And that Westry, I mean, in real life, I believe he's a practice squad player in Madden, though he's got that 94 speed, that six foot three frame. These guys know how to make the best of that. Speed and height, have always, they've always been key in Madden, Scott. They won't do it all for you, 
but they'll help you out. And there's another sack. And this time, it's Lawrence coming right up the gut. And you got to get your boot out. Yep, that we say it, that quarterback meat tastes sweet. And right now, that Dallas Cowboys defense has sweet tooth. And they just wet their beak. And Daniel, the punter from Tennessee, they did not have a good Saturday. <laughs> Losing to Georgia State of all teams. He'll punt it down to the 40-yard line. And that's what you needed. Couple sacks, you got the ball back with a chance to double dip the chip. You could tie things up. Here right before the half. A little nitro cold brew coming in. Can I can I interest you in? And if you, it's all set up. I, yeah, I'll, I'll take another. You, you just got to walk by and only give me one. Thank you very much. Uh, big sack right there from the Kiva. Huge. It'll be a great Sunday here in Arlington, Texas. Second and 12. Amari, a little bit of motion. Prescott. Wheels it up to Amari, makes a man miss, and they gather him up at the 24-yard line. Just over a minute to go in the second quarter. Phenomenal stick work right there from Henry. He clicks onto the receiver, gets him in a better stride so he can rack catch it. And I'm impressed right now, Scott. Almost everyone we've seen play with the Cowboys just has to run the ball. They get themselves in a passing situation, and they look like a deer in headlights. Right now, Henry looking very comfortable passing the ball around as he gets sacked right there, though. They'll still have two timeouts here. Clock management, oh, so important. Prescott steps up, fires, throws, and there's Austin down at the four, and it's a timeout with 15 seconds to go. That's a big boy read right there from Henry. And again, just so impressive. I haven't seen anybody be able to slang the rock with the Cowboys like this all tournament long. And Henry looking to tie this ball game right before the half. This is a big sequence. He only has one timeout, Scott. Kib needs to. This means you can only run one time here. Trying to stop the run. You're right, just one timeout remaining. And he will stretch it. What and Zeke can't get away. And he'll have to use a timeout now with 12 seconds to go. And you got to be careful. You can't leave the half without points, especially getting the kickoff on the other side. Yeah, if you're Kiv right now, you got to assume that this is going to be a passing play. So you got to be ready for it. And if you're Henry, you cannot take a sack. Like you said, Scott, you need to make sure you come away with points here. How about McKinney coming through with a big time tackle for loss? Waiting seconds of the half, he'll throw it to the Come corner! On, bro, what are you, oh my God, <laughs> hey. And Tavon nearly got the feet in bounce. That, that's a good throw though, Kim saying make him pay, but that looked like a my guy, a no guy type of throw. Back corner of the end zone, even if the defender gets his hands on it, it's going to be extremely hard for him to keep those feet in bounce. I'm kicking the field goal right oh, here. Oh man, now, now, you, now you're playing with a little bit of fire here, Hen. Third and goal, eight seconds, no timeouts. And there's the oh, blitz, and that's gonna cost him three points. We're not as good as Henry, not even close. But you gotta get your boot out there and take the three points. The, the problem is right there, too. He sends the running back out on a route, Scott, in that situation where you can't take a sack. You got to keep Zeke to block, even if you are looking for the wheel, the, wheel, the wheel route out of the backfield. It's just too risky, and he pays for it right there. The good, the good news for Henry is he gets this ball to start the second half, but instead of driving to take the lead, now he's driving to make it a tie ball game. That could be detrimental later on. Good pocket again. Prescott Good pocket up. again. Amari, first down. I'm inspired. I'm inspired by Henry's pocket presence, Scott. This is phenomenal. The only incompletion was that corner route throw to Tavon. Both these competitors have been so accurate in the passing game thus far. 
I mean, he could have scrambled right there. That, that was a Tom Brady type of throw. Just step up. You're giving me all this room to run, but you know what? I'm going to trust my receiver. Get it in his hands. What a comeback. Oh, my hey, God. It's a surgical. Have you seen anyone pass the ball with the Cowboys? Like, uh, I haven't seen anything like this. He abandoned the run so early. But it's worked out for him. Fabon Austin played his college ball at West Virginia. Here comes Zeke. That was down there in the Orange Bowl. It was West Virginia versus Clemson. And Tavon Austin scored over 9,000 times. <laughs> Still has some speed for a veteran. You had a Clemson game, I don't believe it. <laughs> Second and four. Prescott hands it off to Zeke. We're going to have a short yardage situation here. Third and two in plus territory. Surprise Henry just sticking in this gun punch when he runs the ball. I, I'd like to see him get in a little. Oh, what a tackle. What a defense right there. That's what I'm saying. Against this dollar one four six, I expect him to go into a heavy formation. And here we go, Scott. We got a situation. Fourth and seven. Needs to get past the 41 yard line. This is huge. You can't start compounding mistakes. You don't take the points, and now here's a fourth down. Has a pocket, has a man, oh! and won't get there. Moore will wrap him up, and it's a turnover on downs. It's seven. What a tackle right there from Kiv. Saves himself the first down. Look at this. The drag, Kiv immediately clicks on. Crashes down, makes the secure tackle. Doesn't go for the hit stick. I'll never it's deny the you things. a Snickers, but that was a Snickers denied replay. I could use a Snickers right now, man. <laughs> With Skim, you know, Skim had that year supply. He'll be here later. Hopefully, hook me up a little bit. First and ten. You heard Kim say, now it's time to get seven. Okay. Drops it off the new Hopkins makes two man miss. Another what one. A strip. What and the it's strip. A strip? Oh, he got two Icky. And it was a user strip fumble, Scott. Remember, stripping the ball this year is not easy. You can no longer spam that RB mechanic. It's super hard to match those animations. But when you're young, Henry, and you got all the stick work in the world, you can make plays just like that with the user strip fumble. What a goon. Look at this pocket. I remember that old NFL films clip of Mike Singletary. I like this kind of party. Defense showing up. Look at Here this. Here for Henry. Watch him click on. Boom. Use a strip fumble. Oh my gosh. Give me a one in the chat if we are lit having a good game here. In the winner's bracket semifinal. I'm having a good time. I hope you guys all are. Thank you for everyone out here watching with us and joining us on Championship Sunday. I'm loving it. Oh, no! Tavon, low throw. And we're going to have another fourth down. It's just big play after big play, Scott. You can't even catch our breath up here. Prescott. That's one of the changes I love in Madden 20 is they don't break the huddle anymore. We're just right back to it. And spread. Prescott. Let's go! Come He'll on. be dropped. Not only for a loss, but a turnover on downs. Kim's got it back with two seconds to go in the third. This will be the final play of the quarter. Bunch to the right. He'll run it with Duke Johnson. And put your fours up. How about these two guys going back and forth? It's a defensive third quarter. No points. Won all the fours in the chat. I got my eye on you, too. Because this is a big fourth quarter right here. And Kev looking to cap this drive, make it two possessions. Winner faces serious Mo in the winner bracket final. Remember, this is the first ever double elimination MCS tournament. How about Kiff's stat line with that quarterback? Eight for <laughs> eight, 106 yards. Forget about it. In a game where it's a running meta, 
He's out here just throwing dots with Deshaun Watson, making it look surgical. Watson, Ooh, screen oh, machine. Back. That's a huge play right there, Scott. Gets him out of field goal range. That's C.J. Goodwin, 90 speed coming off the edge. That was huge. I mean, this is just big play after big play. Neither one of these guys want to go away. And then a hit. It's not stopping. I think we've only had one incompletion in this game. And that was a corner route throw to Tavon. At the end of the half. Unreal. Of course, we've had a few turnovers, especially on downs. And here's a third and 16. Big play, big throw. Who? What? Let's go! What is happening? Will Fuller, naked. I need a replay on that one. That's such a big play right there by Kip. You hear him getting, showing some emotion. That's huge to go up two possessions. So now 21 to seven here at the brand new Pizza Hut Stadium. We've surely played a lot of games this weekend. Here at the brand new home of Madden football. Look at this. Look at this again. Yikes, that's on him. That's on the user. Jackson, that Let's was go. his assignment, and he blew it. Yeah, complete broken coverage right there from Henry. It, it happens sometimes. You get a little too adjusty on defense. These guys make all kinds of quick adjustments, custom hot routes to the defense, and every now and then you'll get a broken coverage. What type of sorcery was that on that route? <laughs> oh my gosh, what a route right there. First and 10. Clip that. That was dotty. Look at Henry, man. Why? If you slang, I guess why not play with the Cowboys? If you can pass the ball like this with him, I'd be worried to see what he could do with a team like the Texans. Went away from the running game early. After trailing by seven, but now it's 14. Cooper. Good hit. That's just good stick work all around right there. You saw Henry click onto his receiver, move him inside to get in position to make the play, and then Kiv click onto the safety to get him in position to make the hit at the point of contact. And again, that's the diff that click on right there was the difference between a complete pass and an incomplete pass. Prescott, once again, a lot of check downs, get out of bounds. That'll stop the clock with 3.07. All I can tell you, I didn't see all the games. We've had a lot of games this Weekend here in Arlington certainly has to be a record for pass accuracy here at Pizza Hut Stadium. Yeah, but both these competitors, they are both slanging this rock all over the field. And look at the pocket presence, man. Picks up the blitz, look Amari. At, look Can at he get this. past Roby? He will and force out of bounds on the six yard line. Just so impressive, Scott. This high level Madden going on right now on both sides of the ball and Henry knows this is four down territory, can get this into the end zone, has all three timeouts. Kiff does not have a running offense, so it will be hard for him to milk the clock away. This game's far from over, but first things first, if you're Henry, you gotta get in the end zone. Way too smart. Kiff holding the door. Henry, eight, Henry's knocking. Eight Let's, carries for 12 yards for Zeke, second and goal. Still has all three timeouts and the two minute warning. Gotta get in here with Zeke. Come on. That, stick. that looked like conservative ball carry. Looked like he had a lane to run. This is huge. This trying, is huge. And trying to get in before the two-minute warning. Quick throw to the outside. Come on. There we go. Denied. Here comes fourth in the game. There we go. Do you want it or not? What type of dots do you got? Bunch to the right. Amari is solo to the left here on fourth and goal from the six yard line. And oh, there's a sack. To go. Joseph brings the heat. Well, you see Joke waiting in the wings. He's going to, it's like he's going to be facing Henry over on the loser side of the bracket. 
you're young, Kiv. Oh, he's going play action. What is this? Oh, I, wow. Honestly, that's not a terrible play, Scott. If two-minute warning. If there was a time to pass in this situation, it's right before that two-minute warning because the clock's going to stop anyway. That's actually a very veteran move right there from the Kiv. But now you got to expect him to just run this ball and just make Henry start using those timeouts. Well, I was thinking GG, but not so fast, my friend. A little Madden magic. Might still be left in the winner's bracket here for Henry. Well, running the ball's important here, though, because what it's going to do is put Henry in a situation where he'll need an onside kick to win the game. And if you give, I'm sure you'll take that. You throw a dot here, though, and the game's over. Got to be careful. He starts thinking like that, Scott. That's when you get yourself in trouble. Woo! Final timeout. Just one remaining for Henry. And Daniel will get his boot out. And this will be returnable by Tavon. Needs 53 yards and then an onside kick. I've been impressed by the open field tackling by both these players as well, Scott. The passing attack, their ability to make plays in the open field, land hit sticks, wrap up when you need to. There's a lot of small, high-level stuff going on that separates these guys from your average Madden player. Prescott. Rare incompletion, 13 of 16. Oh, can you believe it, Scott? It's looking like we're going to have a serious Mo Young Kiv winner's bracket final game. That's pay-per-view right there. Going to have Henry, it looks like, and Joke. And also Mills and Beast Mode Mac. They're in the loser semifinal in this double elimination tournament. And it's another sack. They're starting to mount up. This is it. This is ball game right here. Kiv has forced seven sacks in the ball game. And that'll do it. GG's in the chat. Young Kiv is going to face Serious Mo. Both players, 8 and 0, oh, will face off on the winner's side of this Madden NFL 20 Classic.